Hey guys, it's Kay here again from Kegland talking to you about our new fill o meter or fillometer, or however you want to call it. We couldn't think of a better name, so it's called a fill o meter because it's literally what it does. It's to fill water. How annoying is it when you're filling up your brewery and you think, oh, I might just go and do that while that's filling? and inevitably you come back and there's water all over the floor. So this bad boy will make it really easy for you guys because you just plug in how many liters you want and hit go. That's it, you walk away and the solenoid which is built into this unit will just turn the water supply off. It's so easy. So inside the box, what we've got is the main filometer body itself. Now, luckily this was a product which we didn't have to do so much work to make because a lot of the individual components in here already existed, but nobody had wired it up into a nice convenient you know, box which you can just mount to the wall really easily just with a few screws and plug into the PowerPoint. So it could not be easier. It's already got your half inch fittings on either side on the inlet and outlet. So you could either use, for instance, your hose connect, garden hose connectors. These are pretty common in Australia. In the States, not so much. Uh, or the other thing is, because they're half inch, you could also use things like cam lock fittings. A lot of guys are already using it, in using cam lock fittings in the brewery. Now just remember also that the inlet is the bit with the filter, so don't forget to uh, check that. So the inlet side always has that little center, that, the uh, little stainless steel filter in there. That's just to prevent any particulates going inside and fouling up the solenoid valve. So especially if you're using things like Teflon tape, that can sometimes cause an issue with the solenoid valve. So always leave that filter in there. Anyway, so you just hook that up like so. And then on the underside, you'll see it's got a 24 volt power supply. So we put that on the underside specifically. So if just, ha just so happens to get wet or a bit of rain gets on this thing, not a big deal. The water drains off the front and doesn't go into the body of the unit through the power socket. So it includes our 24 volt DC uh, power supply and it's got a nice long cable. So this cable is over three meters. So that way you've got your high voltage AC a fair distance away from where the action is, I guess. Brewing is exciting enough already. Now on the display here, you can see you get the liters. Now this can be changed over to gallons as well for you guys in the States. You just have to uh, go into the menu functions and switch that across. Now in here, let's say you wanna set the number of liters. It's really straightforward. Just hit the set button down here, uh, down to, and you'll see these numbers here start flashing. And then just move to the numbers that you wanna change. So let's say I'm in there. So before the decimal point, in other words, I'm just gonna increase that to let's say two liters. So that would be amount of, let's say, water that I wanna put into a keg before I pour in some sanitizer. So just throw away that measuring jug. You can just put two liters, hit start, and, and the water will start flowing through this device and then measure and stop exactly when it hits that two liter mark. So we've got this thing set to two liters. Let's see how she does. Spot on, how good is that? Yeah. Now if you need to clear that two liters or change the number, one of the easiest ways to set it back to zero, instead of going to set and you know fiddling around with the numbers again, just hold down the clear button for five seconds, just like that, and you'll notice that it, every, everything will clear back to zero again. Now inside the menu functions, there's also a few other features here which you might find handy too. When you're actually measuring the water, it actually measures the liters per minute. So it measures the speed of flow, not just the total number of liters that have gone through. And it's got a few other functions inside the, uh, inside the menus as well. So you can see how many liters it's done, almost like a, an odometer on a car and see how many, how many miles you've done. You can see how many liters you've put through the unit in total. So guys, this really handy device, it's not expensive. All of you guys should have one of these. It might save you a lot of water. Definitely it's saved me a lot of spills. And it's so useful around the place. I mean, in the garden, how many times uh, do people buy these little tap timers which just show you roughly how many minutes to turn the water on floor? Really, it doesn't even make any sense. Like when you're watering your garden, you really wanna know how many liters you're putting on the garden. This volumetric flow meter, it's exactly what you need to do that. It's really handy for distillation, seeing how much coolant you're putting through the still head. Um, or see how many liters you've used in the distillation process. The other thing you can do is uh, fill up breweries, fill up uh, sanitizer buckets and stuff like that. There's so many applications really, and it's so easy to use and install. So hope you guys enjoy using it. It's definitely a really, really handy device. Anyway, if you wanna hear about any of the cool new stuff that's coming up, just down the bottom right hand corner, click subscribe now. That way you'll get a notification when all the uh, new stuff comes out. The other thing you can do is join our awesome Facebook community group. The Kegland Facebook community group has thousands of guys on it just like yourself. Anyway, enjoy this product. See you next time guys, bye.